Hi there, today I'm gonna show you how to download and set up Dynemap on your Minecraft server. First, you need to download the plugin, so go to the link down in the description and press on the download button. Save it somewhere on your desktop so you remember where it is. After that, go to panel.rocketnode.net. Here, select the desired Minecraft server you want to install the plugin on. Make sure before doing anything else that the server is stopped. If it's uh, running currently, just press on the stop button. After your plugin has been downloaded, go to File Manager, Plugins, and press on the Upload button and upload the Minecraft plugin. After it has been uploaded, go back to Server Console and start the server to generate the config files for it. It shouldn't take any longer than 15 seconds. After everything has been generated, stop the server once again. And now we're gonna have to configure Dynemap. The first thing that you have to do is go to Network and press Create Allocation. This will create a new port that you will have to use for Dynamap. You, in notes here, you should put Dynamap in case you forget what this port is about. Be careful, don't make it primary or don't delete it. If you delete it, then your Dynamap configuration will not work anymore. Copy the address, save it somewhere, and then copy the, the port and save it too. Now that your database is done, go back to File Manager, open the Plugins folder, Dynemap, and look for a configuration file. The first thing that we're gonna have to look at is def template suffix. Make sure this one is on high res in order to generate a high resolution map. Go down until you see MySQL file storage. Now this is the part where we're gonna set up the database to connect it to the plugin. In case you're not, still not doing database, you can skip this part, but as I said earlier, we recommend doing it and using a database as it will save CPU usage and disk storage. Let's see, the first thing that we have to do is on line 30, press a hashtag before type file tree. Now go down to line 35 and remove all the hashtags. Make sure you don't delete anything besides the hashtag. Until flags, this is perfect. Now for the host name, Copy the endpoint connection that you copied earlier. When you copy it, be careful, you're gonna copy it with the port. Just remove this. Now, for the database, you put the database name, user ID, and password. That's all that you have to do in order to connect the Dynamap to a database. But now we're gonna have to sc scroll down. What you have to do is go to the line 350 where it says web server port and copy the port that you created earlier. Copy it. The web server bind address, leave it like this, don't change anything. Press save content. Go back to server console and start your server. Now that your server has started and everything is running smoothly and you got no errors related to Dynemap, Copy the IP address and the new port that you allocated only for Dynemap. Open a new tab and paste it here. As you can see, you have Dynemap already installed and it's working. The problem is that you don't have any chunks loaded. In order to do that, now go to the console and paste in this command that will be down in the description, Dynemap full render, followed by the world that you want to fully render. In our case, it will be world. It's gonna say full render starting on world, world. Now you're gonna have to give it a few minutes as it will gonna, it will take some time. I'll be back with the map. As you can see, it even says in the console, full render of word finished. Now all that's left to do is go into the web address. And there you go guys, here is your fully rendered map. As soon as players will explore more chunks, the map will get bigger and bigger and you'll see the active players on your Dynemap link. This is it, it's this easy. If you have any questions, ask them down in the description or open a ticket on our Discord server which will be linked down. Don't forget to give us a subscribe, drop a like on the video and don't forget guys, for the best Minecraft servers or any game servers which have the highest quality and the fastest speeds, go to rocketnode.com. Until then, see you.